It happened on Friday, the death of the man behind the notorious Pentagon Papers of the Watergate era, Daniel Ellsberg. Born in Chicago and educated at Harvard, Ellsberg was at the Rand Corporation in the 1960s when he was put on a top secret study of U.S. policy in Vietnam. Outraged by its findings, which he later described as 7,000 pages of documents of lies and deceptions, Ellsberg decided to leak the report to the New York Times and later to the Washington Post. Ellsberg was charged under the Espionage Act and faced 115 years in prison. He also became a target of President Richard Nixon's infamous White House plumbers, who it was later learned broke into the office of his psychiatrist and even considered dosing Ellsberg with LSD right before a speech. Ultimately, charges against Ellsberg were dismissed because of government misconduct and the Supreme Court would allow publication of the Pentagon Papers. In March, Daniel Ellsberg revealed he had terminal pancreatic cancer. He pledged to devote his remaining time to the, quote, urgent goal of working with others to avert nuclear war in Ukraine or Taiwan or anywhere else. Daniel Ellsberg was 92 years old. <laughs> 